This is video 1b on the binomial expansion where I'm going to talk about factorial notation and do an example where we want to expand the binomial uh, but we don't know what the power is and we want to be able to write it out as a, as a series of terms. Um, so first things first, this factorial notation. Um, in the last video I talked about the binomial expansion I talked a lot about this NCR notation using the calculator to, to do it. However, uh, if we don't know what the power is, there's nothing I can type into the calculator to help me. So we need another way of, of dealing with this NCR. That's where this comes in. This is actually what the calculator does. When you type in NCR into the calculator, this is, what the, this is the calculation that the calculator does to return the number. Um, so this is the more important thing, really. Um, in the second video, I'll actually show you where this formula comes from. But for now, I just want to explain what the factorial notation means and how you can use this to expand um, a binomial. So, factorial notation. It's this exclamation mark. That's what we mean by factorial notation. Or uh, well, that is the notation, rather. And what it means is, if I said 4 factorial, all that means is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So you start at that number and you multiply all of the uh, integers below it down to 1. So in this case here, 4 factorial is 24. Yeah. If I said uh, 3 factorial, that would just simply be 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. That's all the factorial notation means. A um, couple of points to say here. Factorials often divide very nicely. If I've got, say, uh, 10 factorial over 8 factorial, now 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8 times 10. That's 10 factorial. I'm not going to work all of that out, because when I divide it by 8 factorial, I'll get 8 times 7 times 6. And then what do we notice? Well, actually, all of this cancels with all of this. And I actually just get left with 10 times 9, which is 90. So this is 90. So factorial uh, factorials simplify really nicely. That's going to be uh, useful for us in a minute. The other thing I want to say is in terms of algebra, if I said uh, n factorial, what does that mean? Well, it means I start at n, and I multiply that by the number less, one less than that, and I multiply that by the number one less than that, and the number one less than that, and so on, until I get down to one. That's what n factorial means. So that'll be useful for us in a moment. So, let's look at an example. I want to write down the first three terms of 2 plus x to the power n in their simplest form in terms of x and n. And I'm going to use this notation. So first of all, let's just write out uh, the binomial expansion like we did in the first video for this. So the first term would be n c 0, 2 to the power n, x to the power 0. Okay. Remember, we start off n c 0, the first term to the power n, the second term to the power 0. Then the second term, this goes up by 1, this goes down by 1, so that's an n minus 1 now, and the second term power goes up by 1. So these two go up, that goes down. And then the third term, n c 2, 2 to the power n minus 2, x squared. So again, these two have gone up, that's gone down. But let's um, try and simplify this. So n c 0, um, we saw in the last video, that's, that's always going to be, um, that's always going to be 1. Yeah. Um, there's only 0, there's only one way of picking 0 objects from however many objects there are. So this is always going to be 1 in 
Um, and we could use the formula to, to show you that. Uh, 2 to the power n multiplied by x to the power 0, which is 1. Right, more importantly, let's start figuring out what these terms will be. So I'm not going to simplify this too much at the moment. I'm just going to focus on the nc1 and the nc2. Let me use a different color for this. So nc1, using this notation, I would write n factorial over, so r is 1 in this case, so over 1 factorial multiplied by n minus 1 factorial. So I've just copied this down and just using r as 1. I'm now going to write out what these factorials mean. So n factorial means n multiplied by n minus 1, multiplied by n minus 2, multiplied by n minus 3, and so on. One factorial is just 1. Then I've got n minus 1 factorial. So that's n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 3, and so on. Okay. Start off at n minus 1, then you multiply it by the number that's 1 less than that, so n minus 2, n minus 3, and so on. And what you should hopefully notice is we get a lot of cancellation, like, uh, like usual with these factorials. Whenever we divide a factorial, we get lots of simplification. And actually, all I get left with is just n over 1, which is n. So this nc1 will simplify just to the n. So I can replace that with an n. I'm going to leave the 2 to the power n minus 1 like it is for the moment. And let's leave the x there. Uh, we'll deal with those terms in a minute um, in terms of simplifying. Let's look at the nc2. Well, nc2. That would be n factorial over 2 factorial multiplied by n minus 2 factorial. So again, just using this, but with r as 2 now. n factorial means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3, and so on. 2 factorial means 2 times 1. The n minus 2 factorial means n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 3 multiplied by n minus 4 and so on. And again we can see we've got some cancellation here. The n minus 2's cancel, the n minus 3's cancel, the n minus 4 here would cancel with the n minus 4 here that I didn't have space to write down. All of those are going to cancel and just leave you with the n times n minus 1 over 2. So instead of writing nc2, I can write n, n minus 1 all over the 2, and then these other terms. Right, let's simplify this as much as we can now. Uh, this first term here obviously simplifies very easily to be 2 to the power n. Right, the 2 to the power n minus 1, how could we simplify that? Well, we know from GCSE that we could use index laws to rewrite this as 2 to the power n multiplied by 2 to the power minus 1. Which is the same thing as saying 2 to the power n multiplied by a half or 2 to the power n over 2. So I can replace 2 to the power n minus 1 with 2n over 2. So we've got the n in front. Here we've got 2 to the power n over 2 multiplied by x to the power 1, which is x. Here we've got the n, n minus 1 over 2, multiplied by the 2 to the power n minus 2. I can rewrite that in a similar way as 2 to the power n times 2 to the power minus 2, 
which is the same thing as 2 to the power of n times a quarter, because 2 to the power of minus 2 is 1 quarter, or 2 to the power of n over 4. So I can write that and then x squared on the other. Okay, final step. Um, I'm going to simplify this as much as possible. Um, I can see that I've got a 2 to the power n in all of these terms. So I can factorise that out. Um, so here I'll just be left with n over 2x, because I've factorised the 2 to the power n out. I'm allowed to factorise the 2 to the power n outside, because I know that I will always have a 2 to the power n. In every, t in every term of this expansion, I will have a 2 to the power n at the front. Um, just here it gets divided by 2, here it gets divided by 4, the next one would be divided by 8, and so on. So um, I know I'm always going to have a 2 to the power n in every term, so I'm allowed to factorise it out. Um, so yes, here I'm left with the n over 2 to the times x. Here I will be left with the n times n minus 1 over 2 times 4, which is 8, x squared, and so on. There we go. Um, so that is my expansion. I don't think I can simplify it any more than that, really. <coughs> Those are the first three terms of that expansion in terms of x and n, like that. And that's how we can use this notation to help us to expand uh, a binomial if we don't know what the power is. If the power is an, an unknown, we can do this notation. If obviously, the, if we do know what the power is, you can do what you did in the previous video and just use the calculator, which will be the majority of cases. But if we don't know the power, this is the way to do it.